This is the Data Color Spider X Capture Pro. This is 100% the professional way to color up or to calibrate your monitor or displays. You can calibrate your DSLRs, you can calibrate your focus, the front and the back, the depth problems of uh, the autofocus. So guys, let's do an unboxing, let's see how is the product, I'm anxious. This is how you go in a studio to calibrate your displays. Let's see guys, what's inside. So you have the Spider-X Capture Pro card that will tell you how to download your software and where from. You have the color board, so this is the Data Color Spider Check color check board that will help you to calibrate your DSLR's best color calibration, a microfiber and a back and front focus. This is for calibration the autofocus you just use it like this put like this and uh, you got to focalize in this area and you will see how is the focus in the back or in the front so this is quite useful a useful tool and the star and basically what you need for calibration is this the data color spider x which people talk that is the best product it exists on market it depends on your monitor if you have an old monitor don't get high expectations but if you have a new monitor well this product will help you to achieve 99% uh, color accuracy you have an ambient light here sensor that will know how much light you have in your room for uh, influencing the calibration this is just for calibration and here you have the lens don't touch this you will just put it and adjust to your monitor the wire and put it to the monitor you will have instruction in the software and then you will calibrate so guys i'm anxious to see the results so let's begin so guys i dim the light for you to see here it's uh, the spider x capture pro software and uh, here you'll find the spider x elite and spider checker so download your mac or windows and let's install them while it's installing i want to tell you clean your monitor before this operation no one will tell you this but use a microfiber and clean it rub it good to prevent the calibration going wrong so clean it good guys to have best results so guys this white now it's a white tending to a small to blue it's not blue don't get me wrong but it's a let's say an arctic white not a pure white we want to make it a perfect white so now guys we activated the spider pro it uh, asks us if we warm up uh, the monitor so your monitor must be uh, half an hour turned on for a minimum of half an hour the lighting conditions in the room must be light to medium so uh, you have to reset your monitors set it so we have a reset from factory and uh, what will be interesting is that the data color the spider x elite will calibrate it so i'm curious how is the speed how is check all the box you will continue okay uh we have reset it we have a connection so next we this is the first monitor let's see uncalibrated one it's a desktop so we even have a projector we can set up and calibrate a projector i'm curious how it will do this but okay identify which colors your desktop display offers so i believe this monitor doesn't have the kelvin it has warm medium cool so select your backlight we have a wide led so guys it's best to say to the product that i don't have kelvin preset i'm just having the cool medium and warm so don't check that box white led this is white led this is not standard it's 21 point uh, nine step by step i'm not sure what is the studio match and i will select for now the studio match because i have multi room monitor here so we'll measure the maximum brightness place the spider here so let's place so now guys let's place here the spider let's 
see how is the cable the length of the cable is just perfect just push on a bad monitor for the spider eggs to stay perfectly on the surface so now he wants us to set the brightness level to maximum okay and let's click measure So now please remove the spider and click finish. Now we will calibrate all displays to the studio match target. And let's do it again. The... And I think guys, now it's calibrating. So yes, something was strange on that briefly calibration. That was is only for the brightness. Now this is for the colors. So it's finished the calibration. I hope so. Name and save your profile. So let's say LG Ultra Wide. So I don't want to remember calibration reminder. I don't want to remind me to calibrate. And let's see, save. Your Spider X has now measured all the necessary patches delivered you delivered by software based on this measurement of color monitor profile for a display already been generated you can now save it under a custom file name so to not repeat this process i will take the profile and put it on the desktop i don't know if i will format the windows to have the profile there and guys the colors are really looking good um, i having a problem i saw now i'm having a problem to the luminance i don't have enough luminance to this monitor i will reset it again and uh, i don't know let's see how what is the deal i will calibrate it eventually again so if you see guys the colors are amazing uh, my brightness of the monitor is not that big something is wrong i will reset it again and uh, i can calibrate it again this is not a problem but until then and as a personal taste i like the color just a little bit i give it a little bit cooler because i observe the color monkey style in the spider x calibrate and have a tint a little bit the color to warm so just a little bit the colors are warmer maybe we stayed years with the monitors uncalibrated and the wall monitors you know they have problems uh, they are not calibrated they are uh, white to uh, let's say uh, to arctic blue for example and uh, are not uh, the colors are not accurate and and maybe our, our uh, eyes uh, get used to that colors and we think these colors now are warmer but they are not this is the second tool for professional uh, coloring and uh, calibrating and uh, i see the colors are just a little bit warmer so if you want to give cooler colors you can go one step and give don't, don't give too much cool just give a step cooler if you like and uh, i think your colors will be great here i have a white card so i if i will put it here if you can see it's uh, i don't have a lot of light but in the room but it's okay it's near perfect the white it's uh, i had before a white like i told you the second opinion a white to a little bit yellow so now i think it's perfect i think i will succeed without that brightness adjustment of course i put the monitor let's see to uh, color adjust before this i made a reset and i put the monitor to color temperature in the middle so i can warm it uh, just a little bit so i can cool it down i will not mess up the calibration that made the spider i think this is perfect i put it in the middle i remember the settings as for the second monitor i have to uh, give just a little bit of red these are not uh, identical monitors so you have to calibrate it this one has more green and less red i tend to believe that these are real colors and more precise colors because because it's newer and LG it's a good brand even I say the Samsung has the best display on earth this is a old one 2014 15 I don't know exactly and uh, I tend to believe the colors are more accurate to the uh, ultra wide monitor so to the Samsung I give 2% plus on uh, the red scale 
and the brightness I put it to 95 instead of 100 I believe um, if you want to calibrate both you got to look for to the image in the right and in the left and calibrate it uh, even to the light so these are my final advices to you guys if you like this video and uh, like it because you will have results um, buy this product uh, make your calibration of the displays put that color profiles for formatting and use them again and uh, guys thumbs up thank you for watching and your support have a great day see you guys bye